A tremendous loss for the NYPD and for the city of New York. Detective Stephen McDonald had been on the job just two years when he was shot and left paralyzed. He forgave the teenager who shot him and then made it his life's mission for the past 30 years to promote peace. Detective McDonald died today at the age of 59. Dozens of officers were at the hospital in Manhasset where he passed away after a heart attack a few days ago. They saluted their colleague and their friend. We begin our coverage with CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live in Detective McDonald's hometown of Malvern in Nassau County. Alice. Dana, he meant so much to so many. He was the best of us. He was an inspiration. Just some of the words used to describe Detective Stephen McDonald. The fresh sting of grief now just settling in for many here in the village of Malvern. An unlikely act of forgiveness. Had I sought revenge, I, I would have been a dead man already. But maybe not so surprising to Detective Stephen McDonald himself. That God has a plan for me. Um, it's different from other people. And that's the only reason why I'm here. On July 12, 1986, in Central Park, a teenaged bicycle thief shot the then rookie cop three times. One bullet severed his spine. He pulled the trigger on the gun, and I watched it explode uh, a reddish orange flame jumping out of the barrel of the gun. What really I remember most. It was so terribly loud. McDonald was newly married to wife Patty Ann, who gave birth to son Connor three months after the shooting. On the day of Connor's baptism, a sacrament for the forgiveness of sin, McDonald decided to forgive the teenager who shot him. Not only did he forgive him, he took that message of forgiveness on the road to high schools. The forgiveness grows, understanding and tolerance. To parades, to police precincts. Colonel Dolan spoke about it on his Sirius XM radio show this afternoon. He became a just a, a living, breathing prophet of reconciliation and charity. McDonald died today after suffering a heart attack on Friday, one of many health issues in recent years. Today, officers lined up outside the hospital as they transported his body to the funeral home. Flags are flying at half staff. Last night, the village of Malvern held a vigil. Hundreds prayed, hoping for the best. Today, remembering a true hero. He was amazing, amazing. To have to be in that wheelchair your whole life, you know, and he really took it as something from up, up above that he wanted him here that way. What an amazing attitude, really. What an inspiration. I mean, how many people would turn something so bad into something so positive? Detective McDonald's son, Connor, followed in his father's footsteps and also joined the NYPD. His wife is the mayor here in this village of Malvern. Mayor de Blasio today saying New Yorkers are heartbroken at the loss of this city's greatest example of heroism and grace. The funeral is set for Friday morning at 930 at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Live tonight in the village of Malvern, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.